Hi everyone, um, I'm just getting set up here for my next group of tests and um, got the cell back together hopefully for just one last time with these plates uh, just put all my hoses in, I've still got to fill this um, good tip for putting these hoses on and off I use a little hair dryer, works great um, I'll show you what I've done to these cables uh, I've shortened them a bit, so I've just got this. You can see the red and the black. Uh, yeah, red and the black cables coming out here. One is going up through this other amp meter, and then off to the cables that go to the cell. I'm just using this as a cable extender, and also just to check any indifferences between the two different amp meters. And then the red just goes off and does the same thing with uh, nothing else in between the connections. So yeah, that's what I've done as far as that's concerned. I'm going to fill this up with the water now and then um, go over what I'm going to be doing. Okay, this is just chugging along at the moment. It's been going for a little while. Right now this is set on 13.8 um, volts exactly and about 2.5 amps. We go up here. This amp meter is plugged directly into the cell plates. It's showing 13.72 volts. And this amp meter here is showing about two and a half amps. So yeah, there's about half an amp difference between these two amp meters at the moment. I'll be uh, keeping an eye on that. Um, this plate is five neutral plates, seven plates in total. And um, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about quickly, I noticed that some people are using either a coil or a um, capacitor in their circuitry right before the cables go into the cell. If anyone has any more information about that, I'd like to know more about that. I'm guessing it's to do with speeding up the process of charging the, the plates up. Um, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. So I noticed some of the EBN guys are using them. So if any of you guys know anything about it, um, yeah, let me know. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about quickly. Um, this might be a bit boring for some people, so I'll get through it as quickly as possible. Um, but I still get questions on muddy water and stuff like that. And probably the reason for that is that some of the things I do are a bit hypocritical. Um, but I have my own reasons for that. So I'll just go over quickly a checklist, that, a checklist that you yourself should go over if you're still having problems. Number one, use a good quality stainless steel. 316L works best. Use a good quality plastic for your containers. Um, Perspex works best, that's what I use. Um, electrolyte. Use either sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. Now at the moment I've been using sodium hydroxide but I plan on getting some potassium hydroxide in the near future. Your gasket material. Um, make sure it's a good rubber. Uh, I use, um, what's it, neuropene? Neuro neuroprene? It's hard to pronounce. And other people have had a lot of success with it as well. And, um, yeah, use distilled water. Um, I know I'm using tap water. I have my own reasons for that. But if you're still getting problems and you don't want to be getting problems, use distilled water. Another big one is your terminals and connectors. Don't have any terminals, wires, connectors, or anything like that inside your chamber unless they're made out of a good quality stainless steel. It's just going to cause you grief and you're going to get a lot of crap from it. And the last thing is... When you're putting all of these things together, putting all your plates together, make sure it is cl as clean as you can get it. Wear gloves. Even a fingerprint on your plate can um, can cause the water to get gunky over a long period of time, you know, because of the oil in your um, fingerprint. So yeah, that's about it on that. Just something I wanted to quickly get off my chest, and um, we'll move on. I'm gonna do some tests now and get some results to you. Alrighty, I've been doing tests all day, pretty tired, and um, time to get to the, the, the facts of um, what I found out today. I've done heaps of bubble tests, heaps of different tests at different voltages, different ways of wiring up the cell. Right now this is running at 2.83 volts and pulling about 3.5 to 4.5 amps depending on which amp meter you look at. I've written down figures for both of those just in case. Um, one interesting thing I came across with this power supply is that it's got its own limiter and unfortunately I can't run low volts with high amps. You see, if I try to turn the volts up right now, 
See that red light come on? It's um, a limiting happening. So I can't go above that, unfortunately. But um, I'm still able to get my MMWs that I wanted. And um, I do have one other way I can get around that problem. So not all is lost. Um, getting to the numbers. Uh, as I said, right now this is wired up with no neutral plates. But I'll start with um, having it wired up with uh, five neutral plates at 13.8 volts. I got between 4 mmw and 5 mmw. Uh, my average was 4.5 mmw for that. Then I switched over to 4 neutral plates and my average mmw was 4. Pretty much, pretty much 4 across the board. Then I switched to this configuration with uh, no neutral plates. Tried at different uh, voltages. First I tried it at 13.8 volts and the mmw was point. 7.6, pretty woeful. Then I dropped the voltage down to three vo uh, sorry, 6 volts and I got an MMW of 1.74. Then I dropped it again, again to 3.5 volts and I got an MMW around about 3 MMW for that. So as you can see it's constantly improving as the volts drop. Um, now where it is at the moment, sitting on 2.83 volts it is getting an MMW of somewhere between 4 and 5.3 which is pretty good I reckon as I said it's depending on which amp meter I go off so between 4 and 5.3 is what this is putting out right now it seems like it's not putting out hardly anything but um, that's why the MMW is so good it doesn't matter what it looks like it's it's what everything is added up together the uh, output plus you know your your um, volts and your amps and all that other stuff. If you're not sure what the formula is, I'll uh, I'll let you know. And um, so that's it for now. Um, that's that's enough to get my head around right now. Gonna uh, think about all this a bit more. Um, I'm gonna do another little experiment soon in the next day or so, which should be quite interesting to watch, and um, involves having another another cell inside this container. Um, to try and divide the volts between these two to um, yeah see what happens in that situation and uh, yeah until then um, take out of this what you will hope it made sense and uh, I'll see you all soon